Mario Blandini here with Drobo to give you a quick look at the 12 bay sand storage for business or model B1200i. You'll see here that it's powered on and it's a fully 19 inch rack mountable system. There's no rack mount kit. It mounts by the ears which are integrated into the chassis. A little bit louder than the average Drobo which you can sit on your desk. This is something you definitely want to put into a server closet or an IT room and it's built for small and medium business IT throughout. Let me show you a little bit more of its composition. It has 12 drive bays, and what makes it just like other Drobos is you can integrate a three and a half inch hard drive without any special tools or drive carriers. So that remains the same. What's different is that we support either SAS or SATA hard disks in a model B1200i. And even better, we support solid state drives. With support for these different types of drives, the model B1200i is great as a consolidated storage solution or SAN for a small business environment for support of both transactional applications as well as applications that need a lot of low cost affordable data storage. Let's go ahead and introduce this solid state disk and you'll see that uh, I can put that in there without any drive carriers required. In about 60 seconds, just like a regular drive, it's going to spin up, turn green and get recognized by Drobo Dashboard. Looking here under capacity and tools, you'll see the green light has come on on the Drobo itself uh, and then here in a second it gets updated with the another drive right there all automatically and added to a common storage pool whether it's uh, traditional drives or solid state drives. Going over here to status, you'll see that that uh, drive is there and what's fantastic about solid state drives in a Drobo is that we will offer a capability, really unique in the industry, called automated data wear tiering, or in Drobo terms, just tiering, allowing you to provide a optimized placement for data as it's coming to the Model B1200i, where transactional applications can be satisfied by the solid state drives, and larger transactions can go to the spinning disks, giving you a mixed workload benefit and application optimization in your environment. Taking a look at the back side of a 12 bay sand storage for business, we have a magnetic back cover here, which behind is a fan assembly with redundancy through and through, and that's a theme that you'll see with the Model B1200i. It is built for redundancy and serviceability in a production environment. I can pop out that fan module, and you'll see that it has four rows of two fans each, so eight total fans, and the system can run uh, even if some of the fans in here will fail. The idea is you'll get an alert in Drobo Dashboard. You'll also get a fan indicator light here indicating that you need to replace the fan module, and it's a service replacement you can do while the system is online. Get the new fan module, uh, pop that in while the system is running, and you're back 100% in business. The same is true even more importantly for the power supplies. If you look here, we have dual redundant power supplies or an N plus one architecture, so that if you had an issue with one of your power supplies, you could pull that out and make a service replacement whenever you have the second replacement power supply show up. The system operates fully with just one power supply uh, in the system. And, uh, making a replacement is as simple as popping it in, uh, putting in your cable, and you're back in business. Now we'll focus our attention on the controller card. This model B1200i is a single controller system, but it's modular in the sense that you can replace the controller card in the event of an issue without having to return the entire chassis. It pops out just like this, and I'll show you that it has three ports for gigabit ethernet iSCSI that would connect to your SAN as well as having a dedicated management port for your Drobo dashboard and other management traffic. The service replacement is simple as the other components that I showed you. You can uh, take the replacement card and put it into the system. We have a battery backup cache here on the controller as well as in the system itself to protect from any abrupt power failures that might happen so your data is kept safe. Putting in the controller card is uh, simple as we showed you before, pop it in, power the system back on, and you're back in business. The Drobo 12 Bay Sand Storage for Business has several moving parts, but it's no more complicated than every other Drobo in the sense that all of the configuration from a storage perspective is done automatically. And with a great feature like automated data wear tiering, you get 
powerful sophistication you'd normally find in a much larger storage system in what is still relatively a small box. It's what makes Drobo a great solution for small and medium business, particularly if you want to create your first server virtualization cluster, whether it's VMware or Citrix Zen server, Drobo's Model B1200i is a perfect solution with its high availability to provide storage in that particular use case or for any other application for that matter. Microsoft Exchange or disk-based backup in a business environment, this is a great solution. Drobo Model B1200i is pretty cool, huh? What's even more cool is the information you can get on the Drobo website. So you can go to uh, drobo.com and under our products page, you'll find a lot more information about our SAN storage for business, both Model B100i and B1200i. You can go under the features tab or the tech specs tabs to get a bunch more information. While you're there, check out our free eval program. Click on free eval and give us your information and we will get you set up to evaluate a Drobo Model B1200i or any product for that matter for 30 days. I'm Mario Blandini and that was a quick look at Drobo Model B1200i.